All right, guys, so today we're going to talk about the Peloponnesian War. The Greek world divided into two main camps after the Persians were defeated. The Athenian Empire was one camp, and it included Athens and the Delian League, and Sparta and the Peloponnesian League were the other camp. Athens and Sparta had very different societies, which we've talked about, and neither was able to tolerate or accept the other system. Sparta and its allies, or partners, feared the growing Athenian Empire. A series of disagreements finally led to the start of the Great Peloponnesian War in 431 BC. Both sides believed they had winning strategies at the beginning of the war. The, the Athenians planned to remain behind the city's protective walls and receive supplies from its colonies and their navy. The Spartans and their allies surrounded Athens. They hoped that the Athenians would send out the army to fight outside of the walls. Pericles knew that the Spartan forces could easily beat the Athenians in open battles because Sparta was a militaristic society. The Athenians had a better navy, but the Spartans had a stronger army. Pericles also believed that Athens was secure behind its walls, so the Athenians stayed right where they were. The Athenians held a public funeral in the first winter of the war to honor those who had died in combat. Pericles spoke about the greatness of Athens and the strength of its political system, democracy. During the second year of the war, a plague broke out in an overly crowded city of Athens. The plague killed more than a third of the people living within Athens. Pericles himself died the following year in 429 BCE. But the Athenians fought on for another 25 years, despite the major losses. A huge defeat to Athens came in 405. Their fleet was destroyed at, on the Hellenic spot. Athens surrendered within the next year, and Athens' walls were torn down and the navy was broken up, and the Athenian empire was destroyed. The Great War was over, but so was the classical age of Greek society, that golden age of Pericles gone in the wind. And with it, democracy. The Great Peloponnesian War weakened major Greek city-states and ended any possibility of cooperation among city-states. Thebes was a new Greek power. Sparta, Athens, and Thebes struggled to control the Greek affairs during the next 67 years. The Greeks ignored the growing power of Macedonia to the north, and that led to their demise. This mistake of ignoring Macedonia will cost them their freedom. So why Peloponnesian War? Well, competition for control of the Greek world between Athens and the Delian League, which they had formed after or during the Persian Wars, and Sparta, who formed the Peloponnesian League, simply against Athens, because they didn't think that Athens should be leading the Greek societies. The two leagues are going to go head to head in the Peloponnesian War, and Sparta is going to win because they're the more militaristic society, of course. Um, this war stops the cultural advance of Greece, so it ends the golden age of Pericles, that great cultural age that gave us so many contributions. And this is going to weaken Greece and allow Philip II of Macedonia to come in and conquer. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. All right, bye.